going on everybody today we're going to be looking at multiple endings in rpg maker mv as requested now to get right into this we're going to be doing it fairly simple with switches that's all we're going to be using so this is like the end room of a game you've completed the journey and this is where you've been brought to and in our game we're forced to make a decision and this kind of puts a split instead of just going straight towards one ending and not being able to have any choice or any feel of this is you and this is your choice we're going to give the player two choices and you could give them more but for now we're going to give them two choices so we have an ending npc and this is going to be the last guy that you talk to at the end of the game so he is just an image of a guy same as character action button and he's going to show some text your journey has come to an end already question mark proceed to one of the two lit up statues to choose an ending and we say that just to for tutorial sake and then i show a balloon icon over the player and we shake the screen just a little bit and we play a sound effect for earth control switches pick ending on now all this switch is going to do is going to turn all of these events on because this is going to start unlit just a gray stone and once he says pick one of the two lit stones there if the screen's going to shake it's going to play a sound effect and they're going to light up and that's because all of these are just images with the switch pick ending on so this has to be on for this event to pop up so this is the same but it's a different piece of the stone and it's just the lit up stone right here so in the middle here, after pick ending is on, it's the same as character action button where you click on it and it's going to say sacrifice yourself to save the town question mark. Show choices yes or no. When you choose yes, it's going to say control switches ending one on and then self switch A on. And when self switch A goes on, it switches to this blank page where you can't mess with it any further. But also over here, we have another ending. And it's the same as the left side, but it's different. So we have text, let the town be destroyed and survive. And it show choices, yes or no. When yes, control switches ending two on. Control self switch A on, again, just to flip it to where you can't mess with it. Where, what does that do? How does that make sense to pick an ending like that? Well, our end NPC here, he also has two more pages to him right here. And the first one only pops on when ending one switch is turned on. So when ending one switch is turned on, this event's gonna pop up and it's gonna auto run. So it's gonna run as soon as you click it. And it's gonna show a balloon icon over the end NPC for a heart because this is the option of saving the town. And he's gonna like that. We're gonna put wait for completion, set a movement route for him, turn left and look at you this way and then the player turn right and look at him and then he's gonna say I knew I could count on you a true hero and then I just put game over for now just to kind of show that that was the ending but for the other one page three we have a switch ending two when ending two pops on it's also auto run so it's gonna go automatically he's gonna show a balloon icon for anger and then set a movement route for him to turn right and look at you and then set a movement route for you to turn left and look at him and he's gonna say text and he's gonna say you fooled you fool you doomed us all and then game over once again and that's just the very simple basic 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 way of picking an ending you could have so much more involved in this but for tutorial's sake this is the starting path on fleshing out your own multiple ending system and these switches don't have to be at the very end. They can be somewhere else in the story, too, based on the decisions you make. So let's see this in action. All right, now we're in here. Let's talk to him. Your journey has come to an end already. Proceed to one of the two lit up statues to choose an ending.
sacrifice yourself and save the town? Game over. Now let's do the other one. Let the town be destroyed and survive? You fool, you doomed us all. Now again, that's just very basic, but that's that's a good start for you to be able to choose what uh, what direction the player can go. You know, don't just shove them down one tunnel. Give them a few doors to open up if they want. Uh, you know, RPGs are mainly about getting into the role of, the, of your player and being able to make choices and not be pushed into a, like a strictly story-driven game like you're just reading a book. You know, this is you. You are the character. So you should be able to make a couple decisions that factor in and lead to the end of your game. Anyways, I hope this helped, especially to who requested it. Uh, thank you very much for watching Trick and Ghoul out.